Hey, what's up, you money makers and lucid investors? Welcome back to the channel. What if I told you you can make $160 just with two clicks? Would you take it? Come join, watch the full video because as you already know, I'm super bullish on lucid and the signals are also bullish. We had a pretty good run up on Friday. More importantly, I bought the stock at $6 and change. I'll share that information with you because this is looking super, super, super stunning. And I made $160 just for fun. And you can do that and possibilities are endless. We have been talking about Lucid. Making money in NEO is super exciting as well. NEO is $15, ladies and gentlemen. I've been telling about NEO since it was $8. I do own NEO, made money, and I still am long on NEO. I did some swing trades. I have some stock for long trade, a uh, long term. Same for Lucid, I bought it uh, again. I wanted to show you right here. I bought Lucid $6.89 and this is on the 31st on Thursday. So let me show you, this is again, don't forget the $6.89 number, right? $6.89, let me show you right here on the date and this is settlement date. So take it with grain of salt. The trade date is 727. So let's go to 727. So this is right here, July 27th, $6.89 it's the lowest price point on 27th of July. Once again, $6.89 on the 27th of July. And I bought it and guess what? It was right before the market ending. So let me show you when you go on July 27th, right? And it is this is the market ending and we got the stock at $6.89. And guess what? I bought 300 stocks as you can see in my brokerage account. Just for clarity, this is 300 uh, stocks. I bought it and I sold the next day. With less than 12 hours, I made three, uh, $160 in Lucid. So what you, what you need to do, and that's the power of uh, technical analysis, right? I saw the technicals, I saw the RSI, and I was almost sure that Lucid is going to skyrocket the next day. And guess what? The market was in green. NASDAQ was up 1.90%, Dow Jones was up half a percent, S&P was up 1%, and, and, and it helped me. 8 to 9% return on my investment just within, couple, just within 12 hours with a couple of clicks. Oh, I love it. Now, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. There is a lot more coming. There will be more opportunities in Lucid. Remember, this is not a buy or sell advice. I am not a financial advisor, nor I'm a certified professional, but I share what I do. I'm not bragging. I'm just merely sharing all this information with you, and I'm sharing the possibilities are endless, and you can make it too. So along with this journey, you want to hit the like button, you want to subscribe to the channel and you want to turn on notification bell. I usually don't dump a ton of videos because this is just I do for fun. And I like this. I like the finances, uh, the financial um, uh, understanding and research and what uh, whatnot. But let's go back and take a look. We did see $6.99 as the low. But the point is we saw $6.67. So let's take a look right here. $6.67 went up higher low, $6.82, higher low, $6.83, higher low, $6.86. 687, 699. And this is what I'm telling you why this is a bullish sign. Take a look at this uh, chart right here, 680 right here. So this, the red line is the moving average, right? 691 is the moving average. 747 is the real time price point. We saw a pretty juicy green candle. I bought the stock when we saw this uh, again. I bought the stock, I guess, right, uh, right here right um right before a day so whenever there was a pretty bull bearish signal right here when the people started selling i started buying and it was just at 3 uh, 58 p.m est when i bought it right again i wanted to tell you the rsi 56 rsi is something i really like to see now what is going on with lucid why lucid stock jumped on friday lucid struggle to grow 
right? It vehicle production, but the, it's not alone. Tesla struggled, Neo struggled, Rivian struggled, and everyone in just EV market, everyone struggled. When people are bullish, you want to be careful. When people are fearful, you want to be bullish on the stock. And that's exactly what I did. Ford had aggressive plans to ramp up their EV volume, but now they have pushed back the timeline because there are really, really, really challenges going on. Last year, we saw that their supply chain management broke. This year, we saw the inflation is going sky. Uh, sky rocketing then we saw that there is less uh, less demand for this ev guess why because lucid has 91 92 thousand dollars lucid air not everyone can afford that so they're targeting the market which is a premium market now what tesla did is tesla started selling a car at a lower price which means tesla aggressively wanted to ramp up their sales and we did see that Tesla's earnings were not stunning. We also saw that Kathy Wood dumped $21 million worth of Tesla. I'm not blaming, I'm just saying that's the name of the game. You make money when you sell a stock. But I'm pretty bullish on Lucid. They're all bullish signals. And I do personally believe that this, this stock is at discount, especially if you want to do a swing trade. If I want to do a swing trade, let me put it that way, I'm looking for six below $7 price point, but there's one caveat, there's one catalyst. There is a result coming up, the financial earning is coming up. Take a look and mark your calendar. August 7th is when they have their financial earning and we may see some deep, and that could be the time to buy Lucid. I'm looking for August 7th. What is expected? Analysts are expecting negative 0.34, so 34 cents EPS negative. They're also expecting $216.48 million in revenue. Now, guess what? If Lucid shows lower revenue, if Lucid has some red alerts in their financial statement, or if there's uh, there's more signs that they're struggling a lot more than what analysts thought, Lucid can go back to $5.47 once again. Let me show you what I mean. So let's let's go back to this uh, uh, four-week chart. I don't see it here. Let's go to six months chart and you should be able to see. So right here, right on June 26, we saw $5.55. It is more like 46 cents. So let's take a look at the year range. So that was the price point that we saw, $5.46. We can go back there. Now, if I bought it in between, I don't mind holding the stock. I made, I, I shared uh, another uh, swing trade that I bought around 675, sold around $7 and something or whatever, 770. So these are the fluctuations. Volatility in Lucid is working in my favor. Take a look at Wix, what's happened with, what happened with Wix. Wix is negative 7.49, which means there is low volatility and low fear rather. So the fear index is going down. When the fear index goes down, what do you do? You sell the stock because people are being greedy. When people are greedy, you want to be fear. Fearful, and that's what I do. So again, let's go back and we see that there are a lot of uh, stuff going on. Lucid share drop because the deliveries take hit from the Tesla's price war. And that's exactly what I've been talking about. Lucid second quarter deliveries fell short, estimate amid the demand concerns. And this concerns will be visible in the financial earnings statement or financial results for Q2 that they're going to share on August 7th. So bookmark, bookmark um, your calendar and your date. Lucid delivered 1,404 of its electro luxury vehicle sedan in second quarter and i don't think that this is end of the world i'll tell you why because analysts polled by facts that expected lucid to deliver 2000 right now this is slightly lower than what they did they did 1400 and change in previous quarter right now they did maybe like 10 vehicles less and i'm not concerned because what they're doing right now is they opened up in saudi arabia the leasing option they are trying to figure out what they can do to reduce the cost of their car they're also trying to target different markets they're trying to also make sure that how they can convert the reservation into actual sales that's what they struggled in q1 and for the rest of q2 as well so enter 2023 is a learning lesson for lucid in my personal opinion the new news suggested that the demand for the air remains weaker than the company had hoped and they did not produce so again, the, the point is they did not produce a ton more vehicle because they figured this out. Now let's take a look at what's going on. 43 million in the stock uh, trading, of course. 43 million is the average volume, right? Now, if you're new to this term, volume is uh, number of shares transacted. 
during the trading session and i will show you what i mean by the volume right so why i love this now volume 47 86 41 so we dropped in volume but we jumped in price 667 726 very similar we dropped in volume right here 686 and i thought that's the best price point i can buy but i was not uh, nearby my computer but i was on july 27 and i bought it 689 i think this is the price point that i bought right 689 and i sold almost almost 742 i believe so 742 right on the next day and this was my chart showing me this was the rsi show is showed showed me and i'm like that's the perfect price that i want to sell now sometimes you want to build your own conviction when you want to buy when you want to sell the long story short is that's your own money so if you want to hold it for a long period of time that's not going to hurt either but that also means that i'll be losing some of the opportunity let's say i want to buy more neo neo goes to 12 dollars. i may want to buy more neo and it will come back up and trust me guys it's not easy it's not uh, it's not that tough it's not easy to keep something long term and double the money triple the money quadruple the money but when you do swing trades my portfolio it's pretty easy on a yearly basis i double triple quadruple my money on my trades especially for the companies i showed in tesla made money neo made money lucid made money and a lot of panic stocks more and we made money so money is pretty practically you want to keep your eyes open and you want to be careful and you want to find out when you need the information the most and you want to make this channel part of your due diligence let's go back and take a look so the volume is looking bullish right the rsi looks bullish now let me show you what i mean in terms of the five day moving average so let me go back and you should be able to see that 745 and 745 so the moving average the red is the moving average and the blue line is the real time price point but for the most part in last five days we saw many times lucid exceeded the moving average and the moving average has a ramp right like so you see the moving average is going up the red bar the red chart is going the red line is going up right that was going down and at the same time more importantly the real-time price point was always 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 above um for the last day of course but that was for the most part for last five days it was about the moving average that's the bullish sign um in my opinion 54 rsi is going to have some buying volume but the biggest catalyst i told you is their earning earning date august 7 be careful because there might be some selling but be also cautious and be also curious because that could be an opportunity for another swing trade i'll keep you posted i hope you like this video if you enjoyed do hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell happy investing and i'll see you in the next video